Listen up, kiddies. It is time to go back outside, no matter what they tell you. So, we still in the era where billionaires are moving millionaires out of their place to live. Okay? Now, the number one question is, is this a good time to get in real estate? And I have a theory. No matter what the market does, someone is always making money. So, I compare this to the stock market. No matter what the stock market does, the bulls or the bears are making money. Somebody's making money. It just depends on what side of the market you are on when the price goes up or when the price goes down. So lately, we just come out of a, a period where sellers, homeowners, um, s listing agents, investors, they was making a whole heap of cash. And now we're going into an era where it's flipping where the buyers right now can come out on top and buyer agents can come out on top. And if you are a foreclosure specialist, you'll be able to come out on top on this market because a lot of people are really losing homes right now. So everything's getting decimated and crushed and crashed. It might be happening in your eyes in your eyes slowly, but it's already happened. We are right now in change. Even though the full process of change hasn't taken place, we are in change right now. The change is so um quickly and it moves so fast that you do not know that open door is closing forty to fifty percent of the homes of homeowner homes right now. Things are moving in such a fast pace and we're distracted from rising diesel prices, food prices, healthcare costs. We're so distracted just to keep up and just to pay our bills and not focus on the change that's happening and be prepared for that change because it is coming. It's here already. And a lot of people are going to get decimated and crushed and and a lot of people are going to start to lose their homes due to rising property taxes you heard it first on this channel due to rising property taxes and also diesel fuel diesel fuel is rising at a at the fastest pace possible now once all of these hit and once all of these are combined you know, Americans, they was already on the brink. They already couldn't keep um, an, an emergency fund. And it came out in a report that the average American spent at least $2,000 a year on gas. Now they're spending close to $5,000 to $6,000 on gas. And that's eating into their emergency fund. So you can't save your way out of this, out of this inflation. You can't save your way. I, I know they're saying this is a little recession, but we're going deeper and deeper into a depression. It's not even a recession. Like Warren Buffett said, the economy is going to stop. He's, he's loading up on cash because the economy is about to stop soon. It's about to stop. And, that, and that's something that, you know, we, we have to be prepared for. We were never prepared for a stoppage in the economy. And when I mean the stoppage in the economy, I mean businesses is going to slow down at a snail pace. Nobody's going to be buying anything. Everything's going to be going out of business. Even though Joe Biden signed that, I think it's $4 billion to save restaurants. Yes, they need saving. They really, really do need saving because most of the restaurants that I go into, it's only like one waitress working. It's and some restaurants have to have to close down early because they don't have enough staff. So restaurants are in dire need, but the, you know, people are still looking for that stimulus check. People still need help. And this is the time to help. I don't understand how they helped them with at the first beginning of the pandemic. And now we are full throttle into a pandemic on top of a war, on top of rising prices and they bail out the restaurants and not the people 
so they they made a good decision first when they bailed us out the pandemic in the pandemic giving the american people the money and then the american people would be able to go and you know save restaurants save you know do movies or whatever else they were doing save companies producing product and things of that nature even though it wasn't even enough for them to pay their rent and they got kicked out out of their homes out of their apartments and they were supposed to be protected but they still got evicted i mean this this is this is this is coming you're going to see the crime rates rise all across the board even in rich neighborhoods even in the middle class it's going to rise across the board this this is nothing to play with so how do you get out of this situation well i'm going to teach you i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process that you can get your game on track and not your wig pushed back so you're going to need to know because it, there's gonna be a lot of people who think they Heisenberg. You know, you know AMC, AMC, um, Breaking Bad. They're gonna think they Heisenberg and they're gonna dibble and dabble into this criminal world, but they not ready for it. They ain't ready for it. They don't know the rules. They don't know the codes. They don't. They don't know the laws. And they think they're gonna open up their garage one day and 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 um, there's gonna be a ton of money there waiting for them. The only thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna just get dropped in the desert for real. That's the only thing that's gonna happen. So, I mean, you're gonna see a lot of people doing something strange for this change. A lot of people doing something strange for this change, for real. And it's gonna be, you know, the areas that the people had moved to to get away from the pandemic from other, from other places because there was a whole crowd of people. Those places are really, really going up in value and it's pricing certain people out. Even the people that moved here who could afford it at first are not able to even afford it. So you're gonna see a lot of people in these forest and land areas living because they're not able to keep up with their bills, keep up with the Joneses. I mean, you know, when these gas prices go up, property taxes is going to leave people in the state. You know, people, people already ditching their cars, people already ditching their insurance. You know, they had enough of it, you know, and you're going to see people just say, I just give up. I'm about to just give up my home for real. And, that, and that's the way it's going to be. So I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step process. Keep watching these videos. I'm gonna take you step through step, step through step, because you can't outbeat inflation yourself. You can't do it.